neuron as structural and functional unit of neural system. Nervous system is made up of two kinds of cells, neurons, nerve cells and glial cells. Neurons are the function units. Nerve cells are specialized for receiving, analyzing and transmitting the information. These cells also generate appropriate responses which are communicated to internal and external organs of the body. Glial cells are supportive cells. They help the neuron in carrying out its functions by providing nutrients. They also protect the neurons. Both the cells are equally important for the nervous system to function. No two neurons in the nervous system have the same appearance. A neuron is a microscopic structure composed of three major parts, cell body, dendrites and axon. 1. Cell body This is also called as pericarion or cyton. The cell body has large nucleus with one or two large nuclei. The most characteristic feature of the cell body is the presence of large granules in the cytoplasm called nisal granules or nisal substance. There are groups of ribosome and are made up of RNA and proteins. Cell body is the center for all the synthetic activity of the neuron. Two. Dendrites. These are projections or processes arising from the cell body. The number of dendrites ranges from one to several thousands. Dendrites are short and branched structures. They are arranged in the form of tree with branches. Dendrites receive information from other neurons and carry this information to the cell body. They do not have nisal substance. 3. Axon Axon is also a projection from the cell body. Each neuron has only one axon. Axons are very large fibers and are usually unbranched. They often extend up to several hundreds of centimeters. The axon is generally called as nerve fiber. The cytoplasm of the axon is covered with a plasma membrane. Nisal granules are absent in axon. At the end, the axon gives out several branches. Each branch terminates as a bulb-like structure called synaptic knob which possess synaptic vesicle containing chemicals called neurotransmitters. The axon transmit nerve impulses away from the cell body to a synapse or to a neuromuscular junction. Some of the axons also make contact with the cells in the effector organs such as muscles or glands. This site is called a synapse. At the synapse, the membranes of nerve terminal and the cells of the effector organ are separated from each other by a space. Based on the number of axon and dendrites, the neurons are divided into three types. A. Multipolar with one axon and two or more dendrites found in the cerebral cortex. B. Bipolar with one axon and one dendrite found in the retina of the eye. C. Unipolar cell body with one axon only found usually in the embryonic stage. In some neurons axons are covered 
by sheath called myelin sheath. The myelinated nerve fibers are enveloped with Schwann cells, which from a myelin sheath around axon. At intervals, the myelin sheath leaves small gaps called nodes of Ranvia. Myelinated nerve fibers are found in spinal and cranial nerves. Unmyelinated nerve fiber is enclosed by a Schwann cell that does not form a myelin sheath around the axon and is commonly found in autonomous and somatic neural systems. Myelin sheath prevents the leakage of electric currents from the axon. Myelinated axons conduct impulses much faster than unmyelinated axons. When stimulus is applied to the neuron, a small electrical potential, about 55 millivolts, is generated. This electric potential is called nerve impulse. This potential travels all along the length of the axon until it reaches the nerve terminal. From there, the impulse is transferred to another neuron or to an effector organ. Several axons are enclosed in a connective tissue sheath. This is called as nerve. The nerves that carry information from brain and spinal cord to effector organ is called efferent motor nerve and the nerves that carry information from sensory organs to brain and spinal cord is efferent nerve, sensory. A mixed nerve has both sensory and motor nerve fibers. Neurons do not have the capacity to divide. Only in the embryonic stage of the animal, neurons divide by mitosis. After they differentiate, they lose their ability to divide. New neurons are not formed to replace the old or injured neurons. In diseases like polio, the virus destroys the motor neurons, so the muscles and the limbs cannot function. The damage is permanent and the children affected with polio cannot walk properly throughout their life.